Good morning, everyone. It is Adoptable Pet Friday, and uh, today we are going to start things off with Cookie. She is an app. Look at those eyes. Absolutely beautiful, long haired tortie. Uh, Brittany, what can you tell me about uh, Cookie? She was brought in. Um, her owner actually lost their home and gave them to a family friend, but they had allergies. So she and her sister Coda are both 12 year old tortie cats. They both, she looks, her sister looks just like her. Um, they're very friendly. They get along with each other, but they don't have to be adopted together. That would be a bonus, but they can certainly be adopted separately into homes without other cats. Because although they like each other, they don't like other cats. Absolutely, and I've I've had some torties before. I actually have one right now, and uh, they they do have some too. They've they got a little do. bit of attitude. They do. We call it a tortitude. <laughs> but Cookie and Coda actually don't show that attitude at all. I mean, towards other cats, yes, but not towards people. She tolerates all handling. Sometimes they're very particular about not wanting to be pet a lot, but both of them are very friendly. Absolutely. And so, um, you know, she again, she's kind of a 12 years old, so it, would that be considered a senior she animal? She is a senior, and our senior adoption fees are only $50, because we know that it does take additional vet care to have an older cat. But she's still 12. That's actually, she's got a lot of years to go. Cats can live to be 20 years old, depending on how they're cared for. Absolutely. And again, she seems uh, really so sweet and, and really just uh, just very caring. So, um, really wonderful. So any any other special kind of considerations? Again, probably not another cat. No um, other cats. Kids would be fine, actually. Um, dogs, since she's doing so well in this environment, I actually think she might be okay with a, a calm dog. Just no cats. She could go with a family, a single person, her sister, but that's wonderful. it. No other cats. Great. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Cookie. It was lovely to meet you. I've got many of my own pets at home, so, but otherwise, uh, you look like really your love. Is, is <laughs> she reminds me of the cat that I had when I was growing up, so Aww. it's a really, really beautiful. Good, good kitty. Oh. Okay, what do we have next? Orky? Okay, let's bring Orky up here. <laughs> so this is Orky. He was actually brought to us from Animal Control. Um, he was a stray. He's about a year and a half. I'm not 100% sure what to call him. He looks like a Jack Russell minpin amazingness. He's just like, <laughs> he's adorable, he's outgoing, he could do well in any home. Um, he could live with dogs if he has a proper dog meat. Not, we're not sure about cats, but he wasn't going after the cat in this room, so I think maybe he'd be fine. <laughs> Absolutely, and he hasn't he hasn't barked or anything like that. And no. he's nice. He's not tiny, but he's he's, he's definitely a he's a little he's yeah a, he's, he's not a little like guy. a pocket dog, but he's not like a giant dog either. So he would he could fit any lifestyle. Exactly. He could travel with you. Definitely, you could take him for nice little walks. And so, um, are, 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 do we know how old he is? We're estimating a year and a half because he has really nice teeth. Um, he's neutered, he's up to date with all his vaccines, microchipped. He's not great walking on leashes. He probably never had a leash or a collar, so he doesn't like the pressure, which is why we have these harnesses on him. Yep. So his adopter has to be willing to work with him probably chewing his collars off pretty often and having to take them off after walks. Right, get him used to it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but he is just, he's so well behaved and he is so handsome. Look at you. Uh, and again, any other special considerations uh, for this guy? He, we'd say no small children because he did um, do a little guarding of his rawhide during his behavior evaluation. So as long as your child is old enough to be aware of not picking things out of the dog's mouth or if they have your toy, maybe we have some techniques. No, probably under the age of five. Great. Um, and so when people come uh, to, to visit these dogs, um, what kind of an evaluation do you take them through before they can take a, a guy like Orky home? For all of our dogs, we make sure that um, we evaluate if they guard their food or rawhide, as in we can take it out of their mouth or their hand without them reacting. We see how they are with other dogs. We see how they are with strangers, because stranger reactivity can be kind of stressful. And we just want to make sure that we know what to tell people to train their dog on. Absolutely. Well, Orky, it was a pleasure to meet you, and, and he is just, he's so sweet, so cute. So again, you can see him down at the MSPCA at Centerville. And oh, look at this little one. Now we have, we're going kind of like medium, and then medium, and now we have a little tiny, baby. a little tiny baby kitten. Who doesn't love kittens? This is Melody, Hi, and that's Melody. her name because she was actually found in a shed near the Melody tent. Um, she's not old enough to be adopted yet. She's in a foster home right now. She's about six weeks old. So we wait until they're at least eight weeks to spay and neuter before they can be adopted. Um, but she is fabulous. She's a typical kitten, crazy outgoing, adventurous. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But she seems tolerant of other animals. There's other cats in that home and she's great with them. Was she found all by herself or does she have um, little brothers and sisters? There were siblings that we weren't able to get a hold of so we mm. keep returning to the scene to see if we can get Mama and the other kittens. But so far she's the only one we've caught. Ooh. 
<laughs> little kitten bites. Um, so what should people do, like say if they come across um, a family of kittens in their, in their shed or in their backyard or, or you know, in, in their home somewhere? I would certainly call the MSPCA um, or NISA, who works more with ferals, because everybody wants, we want to make sure that if they're too young, we want to keep them with the mom. We don't want to go in and scare away the mother or separate them from the babies if the babies really need her. So call a professional and we will talk you through the steps to figure out what's the right move, whether it's making sure that they stay there for a little bit till we can get there or trying to trap them yourself. We can definitely inform you on that. Fantastic. So Brittany, tell me a little bit about the WAGS for Tags event that you have coming up at Warren yes. Yarmouth Police Department. So that will be on May 22nd from 2 to 3 p.m. We are inviting veterans to come to the Yarmouth Police Station to basically hang out with really cute and cuddly animals. It's for veterans that, you know, just want to come and have a little stress relief. It's right before Memorial Day, so we think it's very fitting. The Wags for Tags program will be going on. This is the second time we'll be holding this event. I love, um, you know, I think that it's so great that animals are being used for stress relief. I know yeah. that at the community college they have, um, they have uh, therapy dogs that come in during finals period so kids can take a break from studying and to kind of hang out with the animals. And I'm sure, as, as you know, from working with animals all the time, really what a, what a stress relief they can be when they're, when they're around. It brings a lot of joy. That's why we do it. Wonderful. And again, so when is the, the Wags for Tags event taking place? Sunday, May 22nd at the Yarmouth Police Station. And veterans and their families are welcome. Great. Uh, Brittany, anything else about these guys that we have today or about the MSPCA that you'd like to let our viewers know about? Just come on down. We have a low population right now, but all the animals we have are really special. And we want people to come in and visit them this weekend. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And again, thank it's always great to, uh, to meet these guys. This little kitty is full of energy. She's a little crazy, yeah. She, <laughs> I needs, love it. she needs some toys to get her energy out right now. Great. Well, Brittany Prickle with the MSPCA, and we'll be back uh, with more Barnstable this morning. And here we are back to close out the show. I'm Sarah Coleman here with Sarah Mantle and Melody. Yeah, I can't stand it. This cat is so adorable. So adorable. And, and I don't know if our viewers at home can see, but she's got these little very active paws. And she yes. keeps like splaying out her claws and saying, I'm fierce. She's but she's so, so cute. She's so sweet. Oh, my goodness. She's a good kitty. This is a, this is a dangerous segment to have on our program with, <laughs> with us both being animal lovers. So many adorable animals. Well, and again, you can, uh, you can visit all of these guys uh, at the MSPCA in Centerville. Well, it's a quiet day here at Town Hall today. That's right, but we do have a meeting tomorrow to remind everyone the town manager interviews will be held tomorrow. Of course, they're interviewing the four finalists for the town manager position and do expect to vote on a, a town manager. So well, that's happening. It begins at 10 o'clock tomorrow. That will air live right here on Channel 18. Absolutely, and we'll uh, hopefully be able to report to you on Monday when we come back uh, who that new town manager is. Um, but for now, uh, well, we are here, uh, of course, each and every weekday morning starting at 8 a.m. and we will have our town manager, current town manager, Tom Lynch, uh, on the show Monday along with the uh, interim superintendent of schools, Bill Butler. We will have uh, energy coordinator Richard Elric and Cape Cod Community College's uh, Michael Gross. Of course, the big multicultural festival happening at the college. Very Tomorrow exciting. I'm going to cross well. my fig fingers that the rain holds off for everyone Me tomorrow. too, because food trucks. That's all I have to say about it. There's right. a lot to do tomorrow. I know. And capabilities, the fun run. That's right. So fun run, shop local, uh, town get manager ready interviews. Day. Yeah. Get ready for Mother's Day. It's a busy day. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on. So get some sleep tonight. Uh, for now, I'm Sarah Colvin. And I'm Sarah Mann. Thank you all so much.